Hi, I'm Victoria and in this video I'm going to talk about all new WordPress 6.0. Let's go! WordPress 6.0 is the second major release in 2022. Version 5.9 was released in January. If you're wondering why you should keep up with this new release, it's because WordPress 6.0 comes with more than 600 updates and over 600 bug fixes. This includes more style variations, improved information architecture, and more accessibility options. That's a huge performance improvement that can bring lots of benefits to your site building experiences. Now let's check the highlights of this version's new features. You can also check a more comprehensive list of the new features in our blog post linked in the description below. The first new feature is the style switcher and enables you to switch between pre-made styles within a single team in just a few clicks. It basically feels like having a multiple child teams in one. For example, the default 2022 theme now comes with four style variations. To switch to a different style, all you have to do is open the global styles panel, click browse styles, click on another style and that's it. You got a new style which will be applied to your entire website. You can also tweak the available styles to suit your website, like changing the fonts, boldness, color palette or layout. Plus, if you're feeling creative, it's also possible to add a new style variation to an existing theme. To do that, you have to add a new JSON file to your theme's root folder. And if you want to use different fonts on different style variations, add new web fonts via the theme.json file. This will make the font appear on the typography panel so you can quickly select it in the future. This function is enabled by the new Web Fonts API, which streamlines the steps to load local web fonts to WordPress global style settings. WordPress 6.0 brought new template types to the block editor, author, category, date, tag, and taxonomy. To access these templates, go to the left sidebar of the site editor, open the templates panel, click add new, you will find six templates to choose from. These new templates streamline your workflow, as you no longer have to create custom page templates to have these functions. There are also block patterns with some new upgrades for the quick inserter. When you open quick inserter, now you will see pattern recommendations. This makes building a section easier and quicker, for example when adding a logo and citation to your footer. Instead of inserting them one by one manually, simply use the quick inserter to speed up the process. Content is king and in the website it most likely involves text. So in this new release, WordPress provides writing improvements to streamline the content creation process. Now it's possible to select text across multiple blocks. This is very helpful since previously we tried to select a specific part of the text, it would automatically select the entire block. With this feature, the process of copying, pasting, deleting or replicating specific sections of text is much easier. Then you can create and customize buttons quicker, since any new buttons you make will automatically retain the current style customizations. The design tools have also become more intuitive. The improvements include a new color panel design. This helps users to see the color options at a glance without taking up too much screen space. Transparency options. Now you can control color transparency levels, providing more creative options. Gaps, margins and typography options in the group block. Adjust the padding and the top and bottom margin separately. You can also apply specific typography settings to an entire group of blocks. Gap controls in the gallery block. With this feature, you can add or remove spacing between all images in your gallery display. Border control. This feature lets you fine-tune the borders of your blocks. Customize its color, width and style to make your blocks stand out. Several new blocks have been added to WordPress, including Read More, Autobiography, Avatar, Comments, and No Result. Previously, the Read More block was integrated with the Post Excerpt block, making it less customizable. But in WordPress 6.0, it became a standalone block, allowing users to apply different styling to the Read More link. You can use a different font, color, or border style. 
This 6.0 version also splits the post author block into two new blocks the post author biography block and the avatar block. This way, you get more options to showcase the author's profile and picture. As for the new comments block, it consists of several child blocks like comment title, comment author, and comment content. You can customize each of these child blocks individually. And then we have no results block. It lets you customize the text or blocks that your visitors see when the query has no results. It's a container block so you can add paragraphs, images, or links to it. Note that to use this block, you have to add it inside the query loop block. Speaking of container blocks, WordPress 6.0 also adds an option to easily transform container blocks. That means it's possible to transform group blocks into stack or row layout variations or other way around with a single click. This enables you to move your blocks around more conveniently during the layouting process. Plus, it's a great for responsiveness. The stack block, for example, automatically adjusts to smaller screen sizes, which is great for designing responsive layouts. The new list view makes working with a complex page structure a lot easier. It will collapse by default, so you can understand the structure at a glance. Then it will automatically expand to selected block, helping you find relevant blocks easier. It's especially helpful when you're working with deeply nested blocks. It's possible to perform bulk actions in this improved list view. Use Shift-click to select multiple blocks, then move, duplicate, or delete them all together. To move the blocks, simply drag and drop them to another position within the list. Block locking is a feature that allows you to lock a block to prevent it from being moved or deleted. It's a handy feature to prevent accidental changes, especially if you work in a team or you need to hand over your project files. It was actually introduced in WordPress 5.9, but back then you needed to edit the code to do so. Now in version 6.0, you can apply the lock via the block editor's interface using either the block toolbar or the list view panel. Let me show you how. Select the block you want to lock, click the three dots icon on the block toolbar. You will see a block lock pop-up. There you can choose to disable movement, prevent removal or lock all to apply both options. To lock a block via the list view panel, open the panel and find the block. Click on the three dots icon next to the block's name, click lock. The same pop-up will appear. Select your preferred settings. Meanwhile, unlocking the block involves similar steps. Easy, isn't it? WordPress also continues its effort to foster an inclusive environment, so this version comes with more than 50 accessibility enchantments. They include more descriptive notifications for drafts successfully saved for screen readers, accessible visual and auditory feedback for changes in the navigation block as they happen, so users would not feel as if nothing happened. Action buttons are now placed close to each other, helping users with low vision and cognitive impairments to do quick editing. And those are the WordPress 6.0 new feature updates. There are a lot of improvements for blogs, design tools, user interface and accessibility. Some features continue to go down no-code path, which is interesting because it means building a site will become even easier. With all these new improvements, you can be more creative and have more control over your site building process. I recommend updating your site to the 6.0 version as soon as possible so you can enjoy its benefits and protect your site. Visit our blog via the link in the description below to find the steps to update WordPress. Drop a comment below if you have any questions or want to share your experience using WordPress 6.0. And if you find this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel for more content. See you next time!